I'm so happy you're here. We are going to start this class in a child's pose. Whenever you're ready, you can allow the big toes to come to touch. Let the knees part and reach the arms out in front of you. And maybe take a moment just to rock the forehead from side to side. Maybe lift and lower the hands. Notice the surface below you. And as you allow the breath to be whatever it is right now, invite a full body scan for all the places that your body is connected to the earth. And as you take your next natural breath, feel the connection of the pinkies and the earth. And when you move on to your next breath, notice the ring fingers. The middle fingers and pointer fingers. The thumbs. The palms. Feel the connection of the forearms and your mat. the shins and the tops of the feet. And then bring your awareness to the center of the forehead. Feel that connection. Allow the body to be heavy, but completely supported. slowly begin to just deepen your breathing. Nothing crazy. Allow your next inhale to be just a little bit slower than the last. Same with your exhale. Slowing down your Breath in and breath out. And if the mind feels super noisy right now, that's okay. Let it be. We're not practicing controlling the thoughts here. Let's just practice bringing our focus to something else. Our focus to the breath. And maybe as you take your next inhale, you repeat a very loving mantra to yourself. Something you need to hear. Maybe a gentle, I love you as you breathe in. And I love you as you breathe out. Reminding yourself that you're okay. And that whatever emotions or feelings you're experiencing is temporary. Notice your next breath in. And your next slow breath out. And try to keep with this lengthened breath as you inhale to reach the fingertips a little more out in front of you. And as you exhale, really sink the glutes towards the heels, finding length in the side body. And then as you take your next breath in, we're rolling up into a seal pose. Maybe the heels come up towards the glutes, shine the heart out in front of you. And as you exhale, press it back into your child pose or puppy pose. 
and just moving through this a few times getting any little wiggles out allowing any other organic movement to come there's no right or wrong as long as it feels good in your body very gently take one more breath to even anything out realign the knees under the hip and use an inhale to sweep the right arm high and as you take your exhale thread it underneath the left releasing the right shoulder down and just take that next breath in slow and controlled breath out Crown down through the left hand and inhale the right arm high. Exhale, melt it down. Your next inhale, extend the left leg back behind you. Bend the knee and take three very slow hip circles. On your fourth hip circle, place it to the outside of the hand. Finding a lizard lunge for a few breaths. If movement feels good, maybe you gently rock yourself forward and back, or tuck the chin into the chest. Try not to sink into the shoulders here. Press the floor away. Really lift the heart out in front of you, knowing that the body is releasing any stagnant energy, any stuck tension. And when you're ready, find yourself back in your tabletop, maybe taking a round of cat and cow. And then we're inhaling the left arm high and exhaling, thread it underneath the left, the right, and release the left ear down. Notice your next breath. And take your time to re-extend the left arm high. You're in no rush to exhale, place it down and extend the right leg back behind you. Take three hip circles. And on that fourth one, step it to the outside of the hand. Heart shines out in front of you and just take a few deep breaths in. And out. Feeling the thoughts pass one at a time with every breath out. Just encouraging the body to relax. Find yourself back in your tabletop and then release the heart down for a puppy pose. Take a deep breath in. Control your slow breath out. Letting a slow breath invite this relaxing state in the body. And then your next inhale rocks you forward, belly goes down, find your sphinx pose. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, melt the chin in towards the chest. Taking a few breaths in the stillness or maybe rocking the head from side to side. And bend the elbows out to the side. Release the forehead on the hands. And feel the body completely surrendered and heavy but supported. Maybe imagining that the earth is soaking up everything you're ready to let go of. And then on your next inhale, find a half frog pose, bending the left knee open to the side. Maybe the gaze goes to the left, take a deep breath in. Feel the belly press into the earth and slowly breathe out.
tension melting off of you. And we're very gently just finding this on the other side, nothing crazy. The opposite leg finds a half frog pose. Maybe the gaze goes to the right. Just feel yourself take your next breath. All that's happening is we're breathing in and breathing out. Very gently press yourself up and back into a downward dog. Just feeling this out. Take a deep breath in. And as you slowly breathe out, tiptoe the feet to meet the hands. Find yourself folded over the legs at the top of your mat. Maybe grab hold of opposite elbows, tension rolling off of you here. Unclench the jaw, relax the muscles in the face. On your next exhale, release the hands down, bend the knees so that the belly rests on the thighs. We're curling up into a little ball here. Maybe the arms wrap around the shins. Maybe they melt down to support you, but see if you can keep the chin slightly tucked. One deep breath in. As you breathe out, roll all the way onto your back. Find a happy baby. Maybe lengthening one leg and then the other. Keep allowing the breath to be slow. Soles of the feet plant on your mat. And lift the hips up for a gentle bridge pose. Staying here as long as you'd like, or maybe coming down when you're ready. Hug the knees back into the chest, take a deep breath in. Your exhale, slowly release the legs over to the left, gaze goes to the right, and just take your next inhale and see how slow you can breathe out. Exhale. Let your next inhale transition you back through center. Exhale, find this on the other side. Take a slow breath in, slow breath out. Hug yourself into a little ball, knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the knees. And as you take your next exhale, set yourself up for your savasana. However you land is perfect, just relax the feet and ankles, the shins and calves. Relax the thighs, the glutes, the hips. Feel the belly softly rise and softly fall. Relax the chest. Relax the arms and shoulders, the muscles in the face. And just taking that next breath in and out. And when the emotions get to feel like a lot and it's overwhelming, just think about how cool it is that your body, your vessel, has the capacity to experience such uncomfortable emotions. That means you're alive, you're experiencing this life. 
And if you're able to experience such low emotions, you're also able to feel such high ones. So just breathe through it. Inhale. And exhale. And maybe in the mind as you rest here, trusting that I will bring you back when it's time. You repeat the phrase, I am safe to experience this emotion. I am safe to experience this emotion. I am safe to experience this emotion. Gently noticing that next inhale and exhale. Resting here for as long as you need. Or maybe you take your time to find yourself rolled on to your right side. Take a breath and gently Staying right as you are, pressing yourself up into a seat. Palms come to touch. Inhale the thumbs to the center of the forehead for good thoughts. Exhale them to the lips for good words, breathing in. Breathe out, let them fall to the heart for good intentions towards yourself and others. The light in me sees and have so much love for the light that resides within you. Sending all my love. Namaste.